Now, your first alert forecast with Justin Roberts. Well, good Wednesday morning to you. It is chilly out there, so if you're just kind of gathering your things and getting ready to head out the door, don't forget that coat because you'll need it this morning. We've got the frost in your first alert through the morning, and then we warm nicely. Look at this beautiful sunrise. Sun just getting ready to peek over the horizon in Mount Vernon as we start the day together there. They've gotten down to 28 degrees this morning. 27 in Waterloo. 33 says Iowa City. Dubuque at 26 and Cedar Rapids at 28. Cool spot of the morning was Fayette down to 25 this morning. 26 Manchester. 28 in Decorah. Again, here is that freeze warning for the entire TV9 viewing area. That will continue until about 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. Around the Midwest, 30s and 40s, coldest air right here from Minneapolis down to about Kansas City. And the warmer air that was off to the west, you saw 40s in the uh, Dakotas. It's going to continue to move our way as we head through the next couple of days on into the weekend and giving us some nice mild weather for Saturday on into Sunday. Here's Pinpoint Future Cast, and it is a quiet day today. The wind's very calm, turning to the south about 5 to 10 miles an hour. As we head through the evening and overnight, we won't take really any cloud cover with us, but it's that southern wind that keeps temperatures a little milder. A breezy day tomorrow with south winds at uh, 15 to 25, gusting to 30, but it's warm wind that will help carry temperatures even higher as we head towards the end of the week on into the weekend. Zone cast today in the northeast, 59 in Marquette and Edgewood. Dubuque, the same, Dyersville at 60. North and west, 62, Waverly. Decor and New Hampton at 60. Central part of the viewing area today, Monticello and Central City at 61. Cedar Rapids, the same, 62 in Vinton. And to the south, 62, Iowa City and Riverside. 61 uh, right now, our expected high temperature today in Brighton. We're warmer tonight by about 10 degrees. Could see some patchy frost, but not widespread like we saw this morning. And your three-day forecast featuring some great weather with 60s Thursday, low 70s Friday. Friday night football, going to be some great weather for that. A couple of thin clouds, kickoff temperatures in the upper 50s. Here comes the rest of that forecast, keeping us mild on into the weekend as we head towards next week with 70s. Now, yeah, it's cold this morning, but not nearly as cold as we've been. The coldest temperatures ever recorded in Iowa happened twice. January 12th in Washta and January 3rd in 1996 in El Cater. How cold was that temperature? Was it 67 below, 57 below, 47 below, or 37 below? This is the, all sound awful. I know, <laughs> this is the actual temp, not the feels like. This was the actual temperature. Those all seem really cold. I think mm -hmm. I'll go C. I'm going to go A. The other ones seem fake. <laughs> but you went with A at 67. That's the rest the of them? I meant, I meant D, but it's marked yeah, as A. Oh, there well, that's my A's. fault. You're, you're going to take A number two. A number two. Okay. Negative 37 is what I'm going for. It was, it was C number one. 47 <laughs> below was the recorded temperature. I kind of remember that growing up near Al-Qaeda. It was cold. You had to walk to school. Uphill, up both ways. Yeah. yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. It sounded like we were playing bingo for a little while there. <laughs> yeah, right? We have a bingo in the parlor. Right. I'll fix that for tomorrow. <laughs> no worries. All right. Thanks. Thanks. You bet.